Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear. And I am a reader and a writer. And this is my week 46 wrap up. And I don't have a lot of chit chat for this week, so I'm just going to jump into it. I finished one book this week, and that was The Spearman by Mary Robinette Kowal. It's good. It really is good. But in some places it fell short for me. I will be doing a fuller review of it. I know I gave the premise in last week's video and everything does wrap up. My issues were with the plotting and the, how characters were used. However, I think if you're looking for a diverse and inclusive world, the world building is stellar. Like that is where it's at. It feels real. It feels like it's a logical progression of where our society is now. For example, in this future, you don't assume someone's gender. I don't know how this is pronounced, but I've seen it. The initials MX, which is non-binary for Mr. or Mrs. And so in this society, everybody gets the MX in their last name until they tell you that they're male or female. And it's just that is the polite standard, is to not assume anything. So that's why I was saying it's very diversive. Also, we have a main character who has a disability, but her disability doesn't define her. It does sometimes limit her and the activities and how she's investigating. But it's interesting to see that most people don't think of her disability when they think of her. Also, I thought there was great representation with a service dog who you see right here. Ultimately, it did have a nice nod for the Thin Man series, which I really love. I think what I would have liked better is getting the perspective of both partners. And you only follow Tesla Crane in this one, the female. But I really wanted to hear Shell's perspective as well, especially as he is also investigating while at the same time he's telling her he's not. We only get Tesla's perspective in this book. And I was a little disappointed in that since, like I said, The Thin Man is one of the inspirations. And in that you get both people's perspectives. You get Nora doing her own investigations and then Nick doing his more formal and working more with the police. Like I said, I will have a fuller review for this book where I go into spoilers because it's a mystery and I'm going to be breaking down why I like things and why I didn't. So there you go. And since I finished that Friday night, I didn't have any other current reads going on. However, the reads that I am most interested in looking at this next week are Sisters of the Forsaken Stars, which is number two. And I don't remember what the series is, but the author is Lena Rather. It's nonsense based. And I am excited to see what's going on and how they're navigating things after what happened in the first book. And then the second one I am looking to pick up is When Women Were Dragons by Kelly Barnhill. I know that this has been very popular in the real world because it has taken, I, I requested this back in July and I didn't get it until November and it needs to go back this Saturday and it still has holds on it. It sounds like it's more of like a historical fantasy because women become dragons, but it's set in the past, set in like in the 1950s. I'm curious to see whether or not I like it. I've heard mixed reviews for it, but it's due on the 26th, and so I'd like to get it done before then. And then I am also planning on picking up Echogenesis by Gary Gibson, which is one of the books my team is reading in full for the, for the self-published science fiction contest. Fun fact, I actually voted no on this, but enough of my teammates voted yes, so... I thought this is the one I should start with them when I should see if what pulled me out of the story, as long as that's not continued, I think I'm going to enjoy this because this is one of the prettier covers. I mean, it definitely screams my type of science fiction. So I'm going to start with this one first. For my writing wrap up, I wrote a little bit. I have not written as much as I was wanting to. I did not get back on the bandwagon and go. So I think I'm ending this week like 18,000 words behind. But again, I'm okay. 
I was writing a series that I was very intimidated for, and so it's good to be getting things now on the page. I'm, I'm excited for that. I'm excited that when I do write, it is flowing a lot smoother than I thought it was going to. And then for other media, and this is also one of the reasons why I haven't been writing as much, is I've been watching more TV. And when I watch TV, I don't write. And I read less as well. I personally am still working on my rewatch of As Time Goes By with the Judy Dench. And then my husband realized that because we got Disney Plus a while ago, we got the bundle with Hulu, and he just realized that there's updated seasons of Hell's Kitchen and MasterChef, which we both like watching. And so now in the evening, instead of me writing, I've been watching those episodes with him, and we'll watch multiple in time until it's time for me to go to bed. That's what I've been doing, and I've been enjoying it. And it's nice because my husband has a huge passion for cooking and so he's watching these shows and now he's getting ideas of oh I want to do this oh I want to do this and then I get to eat yummy yummy things so it's good for me I'm willing to sacrifice some of my writing time in order for him to make me yummy things that's just kind of the gist of it a nice easy week for me and I hope it was an easy week for you. Thank you and have a great day.